everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Megan and I'm really excited about today's video I think it's gonna be really fun um, I'll tell you about it in just a second but today today I'm doing the love dare challenge day number 18 and love dare is um, by Stephen and Alex Kendrick and this is a 40-day Christian couple devotional challenge and um, you Make sure to go check out my other videos because I am on day 18, like I said before, and it is Love Seeks to Understand, and I'll do my regular um, devotional going, reading going through it, And but at the end of this video, I'm actually going to have David in it with me, and we're gonna, he's going to answer some questions. We're going to answer some questions together, but not, day number 18, Love Seeks to Understand. How blessed is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. And that's Proverbs 3, 13. We enjoy discovering as much as we can about the things we truly care about. It, if it's our fo favorite football team, we'll read any article that helps us keep up with how, we're, how they're doing. If it's cooking, we'll check out those channels or websites that share the best grilling techniques or des dessert recipes. If there's a subject that appeals to us, we'll take a notice anytime it comes up. In fact, it naturally becomes our era of era personal study. And I said mine is Proverbs 31, the verse Proverbs 31. I like to look and read anything about Proverbs 31 and mom vlogs. <laughs> it's fine, of course, to have various interests and become knowledgeable about specific areas of preference. But this is where love would ask the question, how much do you know about your mate? Think back to the days when you were courting. Didn't you study the one your heart was yearning for? When a man is trying to win the heart of a woman, he studies her. He learns her likes, dislikes, habits, and hobbies. But after he wins her heart and marries her, he often stops learning about her. The mystery and challenge of knowing her seems less intriguing and he finds his interest drifting to other areas. This is also true in many cases for women who start off admiring and building respect for the man that they desire to be with. But after marriage, those feelings begin to fade as reality reveals that her prince, her prince is flawed and an imperfect man. And I said, I think you just get to know them better. <laughs> um, Yet there are many good things still to be discovered about your spouse. And this understanding will help draw you closer together. It can give you favor in the eyes of your mate. Good understanding produces favor. And that's Proverbs 13, 15. Consider the following perspective. If the amount you studied your spouse before marriage were equal to the high school diploma, then you should continue to learn about your mate until you gain a college degree, a master's degree and ultimately a doctorate degree. Think of it as a lifelong journey that draws your heart even closer to your mate. And I said I love it, and I put little hearts around it. So I'm gonna say it again, since I love it so much. Consider the following perspective. If, if the amount you can study your spouse before marriage were equal to the high school diploma, then you should continue to learn about your mate until you gain a college degree, a master's degree, and ultimately a doctorate degree. Think of it as a lifelong journey that draws you, your heart even closer to your mate. Do you know his or her greatest hopes and dreams? Do you fully understand how they prefer to give and receive love? And I said we talk about that often. Do you know about your spouse's greatest fears and or why, you sh why they struggle with them? And I said that uh, Deborah brings it up occasionally. Some of the problems you have in relating to your spouse are simply because you don't understand them. They probably react very differently to certain situations than you do, and you can't figure out why. These differences, even the ones that are relatively insignificant, can be the case of many fights and conflicts in your marriage. That's because, as the Bible says, we tend to reveal, reveal those things we don't understand. And that's Jude 10. There are reasons for this. Uh, there are reasons for his or her tastes and preferences. Your spouse's character has its own backstory. Each element of who it is, he is, how he thinks, and what he's like is couched in by a set of gu gui guiding principles 
which often make makes sense only to the person who holds them, but it's worth the time it will take to study why they are the way they are. And I said I love this too, and since I have a little kitty cat here. <laughs> Hi Simba. I'm going to read that again. <clears throat> okay. Your spouse's character has a backstory. Each element of who he is, how he thinks, and what he thinks is couched in a set of guiding principles which often makes sense only to the person who holds them, but it's worth the time to, it will, to study why they are the way they are. Man, I have a tongue twister there, or <laughs> my tongue was tied. If you miss the level of intimacy you once shared with your spouse, one of the best ways to unlock their heart again is making a commitment to know them. Study them. Read them like a book you're trying to understand. A treasure chest to be unlocked. Ask questions the Bible says. The, the ear of the wise seeks knowledge, and that is Proverbs 18.15. Love takes initiative to begin conversation. In order to get your mate to open up, they need to know that your desires or understand them is real and genuine. Listen, a fool does not delight in understanding, but only revealing his own mind. That's Proverbs 18.2. The goal of understanding your mate is to hear them, not to merely to tell them what you think. Even if your spouse is not very talkative, love calls you draw out to the deep water that dwells within them. That's Proverbs 25. Ask God for discernment. The Lord gives wisdom from his mouth, come knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 2 6. Things like gender differences, family backgrounds, and varied life experience can cloud your ability to know your mate's heart and motivations. But God is giver of wisdom. He can show you what you need in order to know how to love your spouse better. By wisdom, a house is built and by understanding it it is established and by knowledge the rooms are filled with a precious and pleasant riches and that's Proverbs 24 3 through 4 there is a depth of beauty and meaning inside your wife or husband that will amaze you as you discover more of it enter the mystery with expectation and enthusiasm desire to know the person even better than you do now Make him or her your chosen field of study, and you will fill your home with the kind of riches only love can provide. And I said, I love this. I don't know why I've never thought about it before. Okay, in today's prayer, um, there, prayer, there, uh, prepare a special dinner at home just for the two of you. That's going to be kind of hard because if we have a toddler running around, <laughs> but we're going to try. The dinner can be as nice as you prefer. Focus on time on getting to know your spouse better, perhaps in an area you've rarely talked about. Determine to make an enjoyable evening for you and your mate. And then it goes on to say, what did you learn about your spouse that you didn't know before? How could you continue this process of discovery of other ways at other times? What were some of the moments that made this memorable? And it actually has for the, our list of questions related to today's dare, it, there's some questions in the back of this book. So stay tuned and David and I'll be back. Okay, now I have David with me and I was supposed to make a meal. So I did. I made like a tater tot casserole with our leftover ham from Easter. So it's not real fancy. It was good like a candlelight dinner, but... It smells good. Okay. We have a toddler, so we kind of have to do this quick. Okay, so I had to ask David some questions. The, um, my dare today was, I haven't told him what it was yet. It was, prepare a special dinner at home just for the two of you. The dinner can be as nice as you prefer. Focus on this time on getting to know your spouse better, perhaps in areas you rarely talk about. Determine to make it an enjoyable evening for you and your mate. Okay. Okay, so it is divided up into two different... Um, sections of questions. It says 20 questions for your spouse. Either on a date or during a private conversation, try using these questions below to learn more about the heart of your spouse. Allow the topics to raise additional questions that you may want to explore. They keep the mood and focus positive. Listen more than you talk. And then there's personal and then there's marital. Okay, the first one is personal and is what is your greatest hope or dream? 
my greatest hope or dream? Mm-hmm. My greatest hope would be probably just to have, um, just like a happy family, happy, successful family. You know? Yeah. Like having people, that, having all my family be able to find, like, success in what they have passions for and stuff like that, that they can do what they like and that James and Hannah will, you know, find that for themselves. Success. Mm-hmm. And just in happy and just kind of like in what they want or what they find that drives them. Hope you can't hear Hannah in the background. <laughs> this is crying. Um, my greatest hope or dream is just to be a, a great mom and have a home that your kids want to come home to and mm-hmm. husband. Sounds good. He's a left-handed and I'm right-handed to where I'm going. We're sitting on the wrong side. (laughs) Okay. Number two. What do you enjoy the most about your life right now? Um, Probably that I get to see my family on a daily basis. I mean, because I know that's not going to last forever. You know, I'm grateful right now to have a job where I can work at home. We're also in quarantine right now. um, But even, you know, before (laughs) that, like, just... Being lucky enough to have a job that I can can work at home, I'm, I fully take advantage of that. I mean, it comes with its pros and cons. You know, it is harder to work with a toddler, <laughs> but and a baby. Uh, but it's good to be able to see them because I know there will be a point where I won't. You know, with every you know whether I get a new job or when they get older and they'll be doing their own things and I won't have time. So I'm taking the time I do have now and trying to take advantage of it. I was kind of gonna say the same thing. Just having. Being at home with the babies, I appreciate being able to stay home with no. them. And I am being my <laughs> cook. Okay, number two, three. What do you enjoy the least about your life right now? Um, I mean, for me, I guess that's kind of a, I mean. I guess everyone has something, one or a couple things they could probably list, but I guess the least of all is probably all the pain that I go through. I mean, yeah, I don't like having to work two jobs because it is tiring and stuff, but, you know, it wouldn't be that bad. I could handle it if I didn't have to worry about all this other stress that I have with my back and my neck and any other pains that I can. Uh, I actually feel like we're on the same page about that, too. I least favorite thing right my now. pain your pain i hate to see you in pain and i wish you didn't have to work two jobs number four what would your dream job be if you could do anything and get paid for it mm. get paid i guess doing like those uh streamers Games? Like, yeah, probably in, in like stream games, you know. That I guess I being my should, age, it, it. I told you you should start practicing and just get on there and do it. I know someone yeah. does it. I'd have to get like a setup though, and you know, I mean, I guess you don't have to have something huge to get started, but yeah, I got to get certain things, and I, don't, I guess I'm one step closer with a, a computer that will be able to do it. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah he got himself <laughs> a new computer. Right. Um, I'm doing what I want to do. I just wish I got paid to do it. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I enjoy my job as a mother and wife. Wouldn't mind getting paid to go to hotels or condos to rate them. I know. I would, I would go travel to. People not, do I would that. actually like that more than anything because then I could travel, actually. People do. So that. I would like that better. No. You can, um, there's ways of doing it. Just sell everything you have and. Well, we have more of a discussion about that. Well, I'd have to have a job first that pays. Well. Um, number five. What are some things you've always wanted to do but haven't had the opportunity yet? Um, probably travel more. Uh, I've always wanted to go to Europe. I've never been to Europe. Um, 
just get some more traveling, I have, you know. It is harder once you have a family to, to be able to do that, you know, especially kids, not get to find a place there's to a keep them. Of, and there's whatnot, a lot but. of family vloggers out there that are travel vloggers. Well, traveling the whole family to, like, Europe is, it would be hard, though. Expensive. <laughs> well, well, that too. Not just that. There's ways to do it, though. Yeah. Cheaply. Stay in a hostel? Yeah, I don't think I could do that. Yeah. Maybe if I was in my 20s. Not rich dudes. Nope. Not now. Sorry, I just ate with my talked with my mouth full. No, but mine's kind of where a lot of like because mine's travel too. Yeah. No. It's just one of those things that, you know, it's hard to do. So, like, I wish I'd gotten a little bit more done while I was younger. I mean, I, I, I'm just glad for what I have been able to travel to, you know? Me too. Number six. What three things would you like to do before the next year passes? Find a way to get rid of this pain. <laughs> um, I don't know. Other than that, go camping. I really want to do that. I haven't been doing that in a couple of years now since Jane. Mm-hmm. It's something I've done my whole life, and now I haven't done it in a few years, so. Yeah. I would like to do that again. He proposed to me while camping. I want more water. Okay. We'll get you some water here. Mine would be just to get on a better schedule so I can get more things done during the day. There's not enough time during the day to do any, everything. Mm. No, they'd have to go to sleep a lot earlier. I'm a night owl. Hannah's yeah. a night owl. Right now she is, until she starts switching over to going to sleep early and, and waking up a little bit earlier. She kind of right now, she kind of goes and go to be bed until 12 or 1, at least. 3. I'll say at least, sometimes. Mm -hmm. she'll, she'll go to bed at 12. That's the earliest, I guess I would say. Mm -hmm. But she will. Not lately. The problem is that she'll go to sleep at like 9 and wake up at 12. So that's the bad thing. Is like, she'll be asleep. Like, I'm ready to go to bed, she'll be asleep when it's like 9, and I'm like, well, I... she's going to wake up here in about an hour, so. Mm -hmm. Number seven, who do you feel the most safe being with and why? In what sense of the word? I know, Nick. that's it's open, I guess. Most safe. I mean, I guess you. I don't know why I wouldn't. I mean, I'm just I'm trying to think what they really mean by you know because I could. Any way you want to interpret it. Oh, we have a cat. Yep. Hey. <laughs> Every single time. Why do you feel <laughs> safe with me? Um, you know, my wife. I feel safe with you. Uh, you know? Look at those big muscles. Hmm. Yeah. Anybody comes in, they, he, he's gonna get them. Yeah, sure. But they hit me in the back. <laughs> well, don't tell them. <laughs> um, eight. If you could have lunch with anyone in the world, who would it be and why? I really don't know. I don't really have, like, a, I wish I could have lunch with someone. Me. Well, I could have lunch with you all the time. Not really. You do. You eat at your desk. Oh, well, yeah, during the week, I guess, but I mean. Um, <clears throat> or on the couch. I, no, I, not, no one in particular. Like, there's not there's not someone that stands out that I would just say, oh, I really gotta, you know, I would have to honestly think about that. Because it's not something I've really given thought to in a long, like, ten years. I mean, maybe ten years ago I had that answer, but. I uh, kind of answered this in another uh, video, but mine would have been, like. Sure, sure, yeah, would. Yeah, well, of course, but. Uh, too bad the, the late Billy Graham would have been nice. Or anybody in his family. There's a dog underneath me. Um, or um, Chuck Swindoll, my parents' pastor. Jesus. Or Chip and Joanna Gaines. Chip would be fun. Mm -hmm. I think I'd learn a lot from them. Okay. Number nine, when was the last time you were filled with joy? Oh, no, no, I would probably do you know, the Jokers. And Practical yeah, Jokers? Yeah, I really like that, like Joe or Murph. That would be funny. I think that would be fun. 
but since it's the main show I watch a lot currently. Uh, say that again. Not Stellar Q. Well, one of them too. Yeah, any, any of the four. Say when was the last time you were filled with joy? <clears throat> Three. No. <laughs> yeah. Poor Jane. 2014, May 29th. May 29th? Oh. You haven't felt joy since then? <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, the last time I felt joy? I mean, I don't know. The last, the last time he I was meaning right before he met me. No, I was joking. Uh, the last time I looked at him. The last Aww. time I looked, I mean. I was going to say, poor James. We well, love you, James. I mean, James as well. You know why I hold him and hug him? I like that. I was going to say, yeah. kind of long the same answers, but I was going to say, I gave birth to her. Hmm. Yeah, I can't feel that joy, though. Well, when she got, looks at me and smiles and stuff. That does. She does. She's a big like smiler. That. She smiles a lot. It is. Okay. The last of the personal is number 10. <clears throat> if you had to give away a million dollars, who would you give it to? Probably friends or family. I mean, I'd probably kind of like, uh, if it wasn't including this family, that is, you know. If it includes this family, then yeah, I'd give it to you. But I mean, if they mean, like, in that context of who would you give it to that's not here, I'd, you know. But if you had to give it to one person. It didn't that say I that, but I'm gonna No, I don't, I don't think I can answer that question. I don't know. Because I would theoretically split it up and give some of each, you know. If I had a million dollars after taxes, that's a million, let's say, just a flat fee. Um, so it was a million, whatever it was, and they, um, yeah, it would probably be, I would probably just give a little hair and there, like, here's 100000 to you, here to you, and just help them along to get, so they don't have bills, and it's a little easier, you know, for people I care about. Oh. No, not on you. <laughs> yes, you would get someone that's been on it. Yeah, I'd get you a new cat tower. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, that's a hard one too. I was thinking friends and family, but I don't know if I could just pick one person. But I'm not also wanting to give it to, like, homeless I shelters. I mean, I still, like I still after I give it to a certain amount of friends and family, Animal I could shelters. donate it. Yeah, I would donate it to help some cause. Pay off or... some bills. <laughs> but that's not part of giving okay so the next part is marital uh, mrs. number one what are the three things I do that you really like um, <clears throat> cook dinner do the laundry um, take care of our kids mine for you is that you're a hard worker, that you, well, you work two jobs. It's taking care of the kids and something. It's not my favorite. Let me. I have don't it. do a lot that she's. No, <laughs> she has to dig really deep. No, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. No, it's not. That's not, not what I meant. I'm trying to come up with my favorite three. She uh, was done searching and she found me. Yeah, I was because I found. You were the best person I found. Because you were done searching. No. Anyway. And number oh, three was right. allow me to have my alone time. Yeah. Uh, number two. What are three things I do that drive you crazy? Nothing, honey. Nothing. Keep going. <laughs> um, you work too hard. You love too much. I'm serious. Um, <laughs> three things. I mean, one, I think you are too hard on yourself. You know, I don't like that you're so negative. Like that. You know, because well, really I expect and, a lot from myself, and if I don't, I, I never feel like I succeed, and so I'm hard on myself. Yeah. I'm not good enough. That's what she thinks. Um, <clears throat> I guess I wish you were more, a little, more, I guess, open 
have to say. Like, you're, you're open, but to an extent, like, if we have arguments and stuff, like, she'll, a little bit, she'll want her time to, like, we're, we're different in the way, are you? I could say that. Like, she's hands off, and I'm like, let's, you know, handle it, get her over well, with. Or say, and I, I want to know what's going on. I'd rather I go guess. away and not say something I would regret. As long as you come back and tell me. Okay, one more thing. We have fancy solo cups. <laughs> and our paper plates and plastic so It's our quarantine. <laughs> uh, dinner plates and stuff. Yeah. Um, make sure that the sheets are straight. That, I, I mean... I mean, I know because that's something that's, that's really big, big for you because he me. bothers really... me. I'm a turner in bed and, mm. and... It's like I'll get out and, you know, I don't like necessarily make the bed, but I'll put the sheets back and it's kind of like generally where it was the night before. And I flip. I come in, you know, and, and they're like half of it's on the floor drug over. I don't mean to. I don't even know I'm doing it. So I'm just saying afterwards after you wake up just to straighten it out. That's what I guess would be that. Would be the third day because there was really not a lot. What was I would the say that was one? the biggest pet peeve would be the bed. What was the second one? Because I'm just one? like that on, on the sheets. I don't know why. I wish I wasn't. What was the second one? Oh, uh, when we argue to be more. Oh yeah. Uh, Mine is <clears throat> for you. Is you can probably guess. Talk less. No. It's the pick up paper towels Towns. and stuff around you. Two. Do you have two cups? It's patience. <laughs> yeah, okay. I do. Especially with James. Yeah. And the third one would be... I don't know your third one. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I had to think hard to get it. I mean, because really, like I said, when we get to bed sheets, it's not really that important. It's just one of those things that I... I guess... You know, bugs, but that's not like huge. Patience with me. <laughs> no. I know that don't mean with the sheets to make you mad. No, I know you don't. Okay. Number three. What have I done in the past that made you feel loved? Um, <clears throat> the stuff you make, like the way you the cook, when you cook stuff or, you know, you I wait till bake a man's stuff for me. heart is through your stomach. Mm. Like she's, she would bake like cakes or cookies. She's done that before or. Um, I made cheesecake for Easter. Mm hmm. That was really good. There's um, some in there. No, so I gotta eat some. Um, I mean, you do a lot. I, I know. That, <laughs> I know. I'm, saying, I'm just trying to think of important stuff. Like, you care. I mean, you allow me to sleep in the guest room right now, and you take care of paying off most of the time. So that helps me because I gotta work. I appreciate that a lot because you know it makes me. I'm already tired because I don't sleep well. Uh, so having that one less thing and where Jane's I wake up. sleeps pretty easily. I mean, good. Once he gets to sleep, he's okay. I mean, he'll kind of move. He but, wasn't I mean, for me last not... night. Last night, he woke so... up, and I don't know if he knew where he I don't think he knew where he was, and he couldn't find his way back to my bed. And he ended up in the corner, and I don't. I guess he got stuck in the corner. Oh, and he, he got came... out of bed. That was like I don't I think Baxter. Something to do with Baxter. He, oh. And then he like, yeah. And then he was like, I was like, baby, why'd you get it out of bed? And he was, and I was like, come back up here with me. And he's like, I can't find you. And he was stuck yeah. in a corner. I don't know if it was. I guess he's still half asleep, I'm assuming. Well, then he's he came awake. around and I, and I pulled him back yeah. up. Okay. Okay. Oh, did I do what made, oh yeah, you look at my back. That's the inside thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was actually going to put that on the other one too, but I didn't know how to put it. Um, give me a back massage and clean. When you I clean, stuff, yeah. it's hard for sometimes me. for me to clean, but I try. Yeah. I know. Okay, number four. What have I done that made you feel unappreciated? Good thinking off the top of my head. So. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I haven't done anything. No, I'm sure you have. I'm just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. It's not like some. It's not like you do it stuff often that makes me feel like you're ungrateful. So. No, you don't do a lot of stuff that makes me feel that way. Um, I mean, it's really not. I can't really think of the top of my head right now, honestly. 
Which is a good thing. You know, that I don't have anything. Um, the only thing I can think of, and you'll probably think this about me, was that time when I was going through postpartum depression and we had a big fight. Yeah. I feel like he didn't appreciate me. I and probably I, felt like he didn't appreciate me too. I think that's what I'm meaning. Yeah. And you felt that way about me. Yeah, I guess I could have been the last one. We said some things that... Right. And you have anxiety and... I have a lot of anxiety and then she's dealing with that so it didn't really help. Yeah, but we're not supposed to go back. In this video I've been teaching <coughs> or learning that you're not supposed to go back and... about previous stuff. So well, it's good because I can't remember. That. You don't remember what you're fighting? Oh, no. No, I just mean because I don't uh, go back. Yeah. Uh, number five. What are three things that I can work on? Um, positive self-image, um, that's number one, because, you know, I think you, like I said, you are hard on yourself, she's hard on herself a lot, um, which I know, I guess we are, but <coughs> that would one, be one thing I want her to work on, um, because I think that, just that in itself would solve a lot of other stuff, if you can get it your own self, positive self-image, it makes you want to do other things and whatever, be positive and mentally helps you do other stuff. I'll try. Um, I mean, that was the biggest one. Positive self-image. Um, learn how to be the one that can discipline without me having to come in. So, like, I, I mean, maybe it's different. I know sometimes the dad is more like when kids can he be to afraid you more. And I, guess, I guess figure out a way that you can help sometimes or I don't have to. So well, I he's starting so to learn now him. because I, when I spank him now, I uh, he I've learned yeah. how the spanking where it actually kind of hurts. Sometimes it didn't hurt. Yeah, especially since we're still trying to diaper train him, or we're still trying to potty train him. Yeah. Uh, since Hannah came, it kind of went. It, it's his hard because his diaper. diaper and he would just look at me and kind of laugh. Yeah. But now he knows that I I kind of pulled uh, down his pants and did it on his thigh, and it, he he don't like that. Yeah. It stings. So he's starting to learn. Um. Luckily, I mean, you could try that new method I have where I just count, and now I don't have to do anything, really. I just kind of look at him, the, and uh, I count. The lazy I don't... part of well, it's, No. I know, so I'm kidding. <laughs> I like it as a proactive part where I don't have to punish him or do anything like that because I don't want to. So I, like, just, um, you know, tell him I'm going to count to five, and he's going to get a timeout or, or, you know, get something taken away. He used to not like timeout. Now he didn't really care. It depends. I think I'd have to make him take a time out where he can't have any toys or anything like that. So I'd have to pick a place to do it. But you make it sound like um, James is bad. He's not bad. No, he's just no, 30. just when he is bad. No, he's just yeah. You know, he just problem. has makes bad decisions. Um, I mean, he I knows one of, not to say. Well, I mean, I'm thinking personally what I think you need to do. That's what I'm thinking of. Not what you think you need to do, because I know there's probably stuff she thinks she needs to work on. And he knows he better not it. say it because of this. Well, I'm not thinking of what I. I'm not trying to say what I think she wants. I'm thinking what I want you to work on. And other than those two things, I mean, being. I guess. I guess the third one would be being more, or, more understanding, more, patient with me. You know, sometimes I would say. I know I'm not always the most patient, you know, and I know it's not an excuse, that would be but my pain one of mine for you. For, I know. With obviously. me, James, and Baxter, and Rocco, and... <laughs> I don't think it was Rock. I just wanted to quit pottying on the walls. Uh, other than that, I really don't care. I pet him all the time, and he's fine. He's not really annoying or anything. Uh, no, that it... It would just be, yeah, that, I guess. Mine. Just because, just to kind of, I guess, take a five-second breath and try to, like... Okay, let me try to figure out what is going through his head so you understand, kind of, you know, something like that, I guess. So you know I'm not trying to, you know, I, I do get stressed a little, uh, a little bit more easier since I'm in pain a lot. So the normal, like, if it would normally take me from here to here to get mad, I'm normally already midway because I'm always, like, the way, like, just sitting here and my neck's really hurting a lot, you know. Um, and that's just one of the examples of not, you know how it just becomes easier for me that I know I not normally am that way that it's just this pain over the last few years it just changed how I ever since he met me he had a pain in his neck yeah 
your pain. Actually, my start in your I know, <laughs> start in your hernia. Yeah, and well, not then, ever since because the first couple of years before James, ever since really we James, are... since you were pregnant. With James. <laughs> Sorry. Again, James. <laughs> Sorry, James. No. Uh, it was ever since you we were pregnant. Yeah, because when I met you the first couple of years, I was fine. Like, pain-wise, I didn't have any pain yet. Because right after we got me. married. It's after you cursed me. Now, I said, once you hit 30, it's all down from there. Your body yeah. says, bring it down. And then it literally it, it, did it, it, for it, me. You're 29. Like, you're at the end of your 29. Yeah. Anyway, now the three things that I think you should work on. is One is the patience. Two yeah. is the picking up. But when you do pick up, he's a really good cleaner. Mm-hmm. And the third one would be... Growing my beard longer? No. Don't need to work on that. You got that. <laughs> I don't know. It is hard. No, like I said, there's not too much that really... I am in a happy relationship mm-hmm. and there's not much that... I really do think my patience would be much better if I didn't have all this pain. Just my patience is cut in half right now, so I hate that. Okay. Well, I can't think of a third one. So. That's good. Number six. Of all the following things, what would you make you feel most loved? Having your body massaged and caressed for an hour? Sitting and talking for an hour mm-hmm. about your favorite subject? Oh, favorite subject. Having help around the house for an afternoon? Receiving a nice gift or hearing encouragement about how appreciated you are? Probably a massage because I'm so... Like, because my back and neck always hurt so much. I would, honestly, if I had something like that an hour a day, it would really help. But quarantine, I can't even go get a massage right now. They're all closed, so. Um, I would like that. Yeah. Here comes the cat. Okay. <laughs> he has to make this appearance. His brother made it earlier. Um, mine would be, it would be between the massage... Or probably want me to clean for an hour. Having around the house <laughs> for an afternoon, afternoon, yeah. not just an hour. Oh, afternoon. I could get a lot. I used to get a lot done in one afternoon. Heck, one hour. I used to get a lot done. Uh, before I had all this issues. Issues. <laughs> my apartment Meaning was her wife and her, and mo- children? And her mom. No, my issues, not no. my family. Her mom's own words. My apartment was immaculate. You had nothing immaculate. in your apartment when we met. I still had it clean though. Yeah, I still but there was had, nothing in it. No, I could have had food out or dishes out or stuff in the sink. I, I did don't my think own you had dishes, dishes because I cleaned them. You might have had like saying, two I, I, dishes in your home. But I, but I, you would think a lot of guys would maybe if they're especially on their own, not dating. They could easily just have their dishes in the sink until they need more dishes. Oh, I'm out of dishes. I better clean some. Okay, I'll give you that. But, but still, you hardly ha- I had anything. He had so pretty much I, like two dishes, And when I do cups. clean, I, clean a, I do clean a lot. I clean like pretty bad. like one towel. <laughs> it's hard right now to pick up. Okay. Um, what things in the past do you wish could be erased from ever happening? <sighs> this pain coming. How about race having to have to have neck surgery? But, well, well I yeah, mean, but you... I mean, obviously I needed it, but I would erase having, I don't know what, if, well, you Well, you know, couldn't control that. What about no, some, maybe if control. I could, maybe if, I mean, I've been rear-ended a few times. I don't know if that sped everything up, possibly. Well, you yeah, also, you maybe couldn't that control that. Up, but I couldn't you could, control maybe the ones that you rear-ended. No, I only did that, like, once. But, uh, but being rear-ended is a lot worse for your bag I think you're good yeah. Yeah. anyways that I can control think... um I probably erased the years it took me to have to get my degree and, and study harder I'd go back and get it done in quicker time and get the degree I wish I'd gotten instead and I would have been a little bit easier like I think I would have been a little bit better place uh job wise but mm-hmm. no Probably one of the biggest things I would have to say when I was back. But just because you got your degree faster doesn't mean that you would have gotten a job. No, but I wish I would have taken less. Still, I would have had more job experience because I could have got a job quicker. So I'd be a little bit more further in my career path by now, I guess I would say. Done it quicker and then, you know. Mine would be I wouldn't change anything because then I wouldn't be where I am now. Yeah, she's saying... If not, it would be the guys I picked before David. I didn't always pick the best ones. 
if you're watching your one of my exes, it doesn't necessarily mean you, but it could be. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say be a waitress. You took a different job. Uh, well, yeah. that's how I got through college with being a waitress. Nothing else paid enough. Nice. I still have nightmares about being a waitress. Oh, and no, I'm not gonna say that one. Okay. Um, what is the next major decision that you think God would want us to make as a couple? Major decision? I mean, the only decision I really think of that would be a major decision would be like moving houses. You know? We thought about that, but then also I want to be that. happy. I'm happy where I am. Oh yeah, but, but I. But we'd also like to be close to the closer family. Friends and That's the only big thing I can think of. And it, or how to pay off our debt. Yeah, that's true. That would Excuse be another, me. well I would say that would be one reason why we'd move, but if we moved to save money, we wouldn't really be saving money because we would we would, we would still want a decent house and if we would move to where our parent, family and friends live, to get have a decent house, you'd still have to be paying what we pay here or more. Yeah, to have a depend, decent depend, house. Well, that's a good problem. Well, it depends on where you're going to Okay. Number nine. What would you like your life to look like five years from now? Oh, hi. Almost. Okay. I, I can do ba ba ba. Do what? Ba Okay, we're almost done. How? Don't throw your fork away, okay? Put your fork in the sink. Thank you. I think that's where all this forts went was in the trash. We've yeah, lost before, a lot of this. Before we knew, now we now he knows for the most part. Unless it's I a have plastic. to remind him almost every single time. Excuse me. Um, what was the question? How would you, uh, what would you like your life to look like five, five years, years from now? From now. Five years from now, I would like to have one job. Um, one more child. No. <laughs> uh, basically, I guess, have moved up somewhere. Yeah. I, I combed his hair today, just let moved you know. Moved up moved up in my career. I would like to have that. Yeah, um, and then have found out how to get rid of my family. Those would be the things I really care about. Mine would be being paid by YouTube to make videos. I don't know, just have a happy, healthy life. Uh, so let's say James will be eight and it'll be five. Enjoy. Um, I'll do that. I wonder if, if I'll have to. I don't want, yeah, I don't think I'll want to like home school. Mm -hmm. You can throw that away. Yeah, you can throw that away. Oh. I don't want, I mean, I'm not saying I don't there, want to home one. school. But at the same time, I may, if it, the kid's going the way it is right now, you never know, we might have to end up homeschooling. I don't think I'd mind it. Mama needs a break, too. It'll be hard on you. Okay. Um, what words would you like to hear from me more often? <clears throat> um, you're doing a great job. I don't tell I'm you. I don't just say more often. That's when you don't. Oh. Mm, I just said say more often. That's all I said. Oh my gosh, you it, scared me. It didn't say what words that we never say. I guess it scared yeah, you. Can't that. I guess it's kind of the, the same. Yeah. Be appreciative yeah. for you. Do. Can we say you love each other? Yeah, they're all yeah. You're doing a good job. Yeah. Dinner was great. The house looks yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So now it says offer encouragement and listening ear. Refuse to allow this to become an RO. Oh, we should have read this. Less time for your mate express himself. Oh, well. Mommy. Kind of late to say that. Mommy. Okay. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> He's kissing my belly like Hannah was still in there. Oh my gosh, she's over there. <laughs> I kiss you. Yeah. The next little part is for me that was, what would you learn? What did you learn about your spouse that you didn't know before? What did you, about your spouse? <laughs> what did you learn about me that you didn't know before? Um, what did you learn about me before? 
We almost, I kind of knew what you were going to say. I guess I just that he needs to be told more that I'm proud of you. He's, I don't know if you can hear what he was saying, but he was saying that he is kind of agreeing with what I said pretty much. Yes, Donald Duck socks. Okay. How could you continue this process of discovery in other ways at, at other times? Shh. How could you continue this process of discovering other ways at other times? Just keep asking questions. Just keep learning and keep talking. What were some of the moments that made this evening memorable? Thor. They have Thor in every video. Um, just spending quality time with each other. Yay, man! It's back to normal. It's always nice to have that time with you because we don't get always get a lot of time. All right. Especially an infant that we can't, we can't really let grandma and grandpa, grandma and grandpa take care of them. Grandpa, grandpa, grandpa. Okay, so, All right. If you like this video, grandpa. please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe wow. button and the bell so you never miss any of our crazy little family. Crazy. Sorry, Hannah wasn't in this one. She's sleeping. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, she's not sleeping now. <laughs> says to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Yeah. She loves our subscribe. Yes, you do.